Hey everyone, you've got Laurel in here again, Women in Tech Like a Boss, and I'm really excited to have our next guest because she's got a long history in social media, public relations, and all the cool stuff that everybody needs in order to bring their brand forward and bring awareness and drive leads. She's currently the CEO of a company that she started about five or six years ago called The Social Ginger. Please welcome Shannon Loy. Hey, Shannon. Hi, how are you? Great to oh, be here. Ben, tell us how long you've been in this space and been running the Social Ginger. Yeah, so I started a little over five years ago. I started out part-time for the first year, and then after the first year, I went full-time. So we've been full-time for about four years. Now, what's the big picture you have, you know, the vision for Social Ginger? I would love to have a completely full-service social media agency. Oh, we'd love to see that happen because it's yeah. so desperately needed. Let's get into when you're doing this work and helping people with social media, tell us whose lives you're changing and how you're changing them. We're changing the lives of small business. And what I mean by small business are businesses that have just a few employees on up to, you know, up to 500. So we're looking at small to medium size. You know, we're helping them figure out their branding messaging and getting it out there on social media and, and giving them giving them a strategy. To, to make them look good. Everyone needs a strategy yeah. to look good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do you think makes you a good leader? Gosh, you know, it's always hard when you have to point a finger at yourself. I believe that it's my ability to see strengths in people rather than necessarily a resume. So when I am interviewing my team, I look for the traits that I find then I bring them on the team. If they don't know everything about social media, I work with them. I train them. So I like to, to educate and lead. Well, it's kind of a nice segue. You've queued up the next question, which is really yeah. like, we know, what are the soft skills do you think are most important for people to have? You know, I look for somebody who has a yearning to continue learning. Somebody who's always just searching for the next answer, you know, not letting, not the kind of personality that sort of lets life happen to them. I want somebody who's ready to dive in and be their best at all times. And the other important aspect is because we work with clients on a frequent basis is the ability to communicate well, you know, not just digitally, but also verbally over the phone or, you know, through Zoom calls or in person. Because if, the communication isn't right, then we might get the messaging wrong. So, you know, those, those are the big ones. I love marketing. I find marketing fascinating and especially of course, social media marketing. I find it really fun to get in there and learn all these new things that are happening with it. Yeah, I'm a marketeer too. And I've been absolutely fascinated by the level of creativity that COVID has brought out in people. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's absolutely incredible. It's, it's, a, it's admirable. I'm like, I see, I find myself watching things uh, and thinking, how did they do that? You know, and, and that just intrigues me even more because I want to learn. I know, seriously. Well, yeah. to that end, how do you leverage technology at the Social Ginger? Wow, I'm really setting you up well, aren't I? Oh. You are. <laughs> <laughs> more please. <laughs> Well, you know, social media, you got, there is definitely technology in there. So, uh, you know, the biggest thing is the video side of it. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of my customers get caught up in the, I got to have this and that and this in order to do video. When in reality, you need a, a really decent smartphone and a tripod and maybe a microphone and you can call it a day on a, on a great, decent video. But, you know, between between that, I mean, from an agency standpoint, it's important for us to have good uh, grasp on video software, computers, how to use those properly, how to create graphics. So there's definitely a lot of technology incorporated. And it's funny because my team is split right down the middle between PC and a Apple products. So, you know, we have this debate all the time. <laughs> Maybe you're a Gemini. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. I tend to get along well with Geminis, but no, I'm not a Gemini. <laughs> well, there you go. Now, is running the social ginger the experience that you expected it would be? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, you know, I, when I first started, it was just a, a one-woman show. You know, maybe two years ago, 
Uh, I just, you know, I had an epiphany. I was like, you know, I, I don't want to be running and running and running like a, like a tired squirrel as, as my business coach says, uh, after the dollar by myself. And, and I just, I hit that moment where I was like, okay, girlfriend, you got to step it up. You know, you've got to figure out how to run a business with people, with human beings <laughs> and, you know, raise the bar as far as the type of customers that you're trying to attract and that kind of thing. So that was a complete shift because I had to do all the, the, the big girl things. You know, I had to trademark my name. I had to, you know, get a bunch of legal documents in order. I had to, you know, figure out processes and things like that. So it was a complete shift of how I needed to handle my business at that point, because I was no longer helping those super small businesses. I was now working towards working with larger companies and there's more that they, they need and they require. And then if I'm going to get them as clients, I needed to have those things in place. And Shannon, this is a tough answer. And I know it's hard to come up with a snappy response on this one, but on the bad days, what gives you the strength to keep going? Knowing that there will always be a tomorrow or hopefully will be a tomorrow and we start all over again. All right. Fair (laughs) enough. Now, have you achieved everything you've set out to do? And if not, what's next for you? definitely haven't achieved everything I've set out to do. You know, every day is a journey and every day the journey changes a little bit. Part of life is just always finding something new and creating a new adventure. So where, where am I going next? You know, I don't know. Social media is changing so fast. You know, I don't know where I'll be in 10 years. You know, it could be a completely different company by that point. Well, it is at least social media for now. And you're the expert on that. So our audience is going to want to know when it comes to social media, what do you wish people did more of or less of? I wish that people would take the chance on video and really just give it a go and not get caught up in the, I don't like the way I look. I sound stupid. Just get on, just get on your phone, just practice, get in front of your, your phone and start recording video because the only way you get better is to do it. And as far as less of the procrastination and and less of not putting through a strategy. So, you know, strategy is so important uh, to, to your success. So if you could just take a moment, write that strategy down and try to follow it through, that would be the, all the difference in the world for your success. And here, here on that video and practicing, cause like, I always look at like the wrong part of the phone or the camera and then like my eyes are going somewhere else. So like, oh yeah, I, I need <laughs> yeah. practice. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Now, Shannon, if I gave you a magic wand and said you get to change any one thing from your past, what would you change? Wow, that's a tough question. One thing in my past, I would have to say, I wish that I was a better reader. Because today, I really value education so much more than I did when I was younger. And I'm not sure why I didn't take the time to read and to study. My guess would be is because I was a musician and I was more interested in playing my saxophone. But at this point, it would be, I really wish I would have paid more attention to reading. You've been doing a phenomenal job queuing up all of the next questions. And my next one is, is there a book you'd like to recommend? (laughs) Yes. In fact, this book was life-changing for me in my approach to how I reach out to prospective clients as well as posting on social media. It's called Digital Persuasion by Erin Gargan. Got it. My book list is getting just longer and longer. My TBR <laughs> list, ah, it's out of control. <laughs> now, what do you want people to know about the social ginger or about you? Well, you know, not all of my employees have red hair. You know, the name of my business is The Social Ginger. People ask me that. Does that mean that, like, I have to have red hair to work for you? Well, you know, that's optional if they want to. Um, (laughs) But, uh, you know, we're very passionate about working with small businesses, and we do that in a lot of different ways. So we try try to be reachable for all kinds of business owners in different ways from coaching to retainer services. Um, Please share your best tip for the next generation of women in tech. Girls just got to get out there and get it done. You know, I, there's nothing more exciting than seeing another female entrepreneur or tech gal in tech or, or, or in the sciences, just really, really being innovative and inspiring. And how do you do that? You know, I, I, I recommend just don't let other people tell you what you can and cannot do. All right. Good, good advice for sure. How can our audience help you? 
it, in a way it's it's helping me but not really but it's more so helping them i have a facebook group in which i am dedicated to helping small businesses with free and updated information on social media and it's called the social spot and they can find it if they go to my facebook page which is the social ginger and then they I can get to my Facebook group and request to join it. I give so much free advice through there. And what they can do for me is be part of that community, be part of that conversation of social media. Love it. So people can find you on Facebook at the Social Ginger and they can join the Social Spot conversation. Yes, exactly. All right. Last question, Shannon. If your shoe style was your personality, are you a boots, stilettos, sneakers, flats, or flip-flops kind of gal? Totally sneakers, Laurelyn. Totally sneakers. Got to go comfortable. <laughs> I'm all about comfort. Well, all right. Thank you so much, Shannon, for sharing your insights here today. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. It's been great. And how about that fantastic intro by Touch Circle?